Recently, I put out a feeler to see what you guys wanted to see built in Stormworks, and you guys came back with... Uh, pretty much a majority saying that you wanted a flying aircraft carrier. Now, that is what I wanted to do, and this is what I ended up coming up with uh, straight away, and I was like, maybe this isn't actually big enough. Then I tried landing on it, it wasn't very good, we couldn't do it, uh, because it's too small. Now, if you're wondering why, uh, it's because this thing was actually built in the normal build area. What I'm gonna do to actually increase the length of this thing and maybe the width of this thing as well, is actually build it in the modded workbench instead. So that we can actually, you know, land on this thing, fly it around, and, um, yeah, take off from this thing as well. Because at the minute, this isn't big enough. So, let's go ahead and get into a modded workbench and see what we can come up with, shall we? Alright, so let's start with this right here. We're gonna go ahead and do this on both sides, but to begin with, we need to go ahead and send it in this direction. I don't know how big we're actually going to make this, I don't want to go all the way to the end. So how about we make it 200 blocks this direction, and we go 200 blocks in the other direction, and essentially see how big that is compared to the one that we've already got up there. I think this is actually twice the size, and honestly twice the size might not even be big enough. I'm not sure about it, but maybe it's not actually going to be big enough, we'll see. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll also build this out sideways as well. Uh, I don't know how wide we should actually make this thing, I think. Uh, we could go with something like 60 wide, there you go. So we'll go with 61 wide, and I think that'll be pretty good. BAM! There it is! Okay, so this is essentially twice the size of the one that's up there in the sky, so let's go ahead and put it up there next to it, and see the difference. I want to have a look at this. Okay, from down here you can actually see the difference already. Uh, the white one is of course our new one, and the grey one is the old one. Uh, there it is. I mean, honestly, the difference right there is, it, there's a lot. There is a big old difference right there. So, what we need to do from here is obviously make it fly. How do we do that? Well, we need some propellers, and that is, that is it. So let's go ahead and get some propellers. Uh, that will make it hover in the sky. From there, we'll actually get something to push us forwards and backwards, I guess, uh, which will be probably propellers, but I'm not sure, and um, yeah, we can go from there. Alright, so this is what we got currently, let's go ahead and uh, figure out how far back we can actually go from here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that's 8, okay, and then we've got 9, 10. Alright, so that's 10, so... Do, 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 do. In fact, we can just count it from here, let's go backwards, like... Uh, 10 meters, there you go, so 40, and that is where it will start. Bam, there you go. Good. We're then going to go to the other end, and we're going to do the same thing. So if we go forwards 10 meters, which, how many blocks is that? I'm not sure. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. 10 meters is 40 blocks. There you go. Put that right there, and delete all of these guys. So that is where our propellers are actually going to go. I think we might need six, or maybe even eight, maybe. Now, I don't want anything to actually interfere with the actual runway itself, so these propellers are going to have to go on the underside. So let's go ahead and go in from here. I don't know how far, to be totally honest with you guys, um, but let's go ahead and figure out how far it is to the center. That is 33, so if we go in, 16-ish. Uh, uh, let's go to there. Actually, I don't mind it poking out a little bit. So let's go with this right here. Delete all of these guys and delete all of this. There we go, including that guy. And this is where it's going to start. So go down a few. There you go. Delete these guys going up. Get ourselves a, I don't know, like a helicopter blade? How, how does this even, is it a rotor? I think it's a rotor. Uh, and shove it on there. So rotor large, go ahead and shove that there. Uh, is there a possibility of having two next to each other? Not if I bring them in. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this off to the side then instead, and then we might have a better way of uh, attaching them. Go ahead and put that there, there we go. Grab this guy, delete that one, send this all the way out to the side. Can we then have two right there? Hmm, almost, almost. Let's go ahead and send it out another two blocks. Grab this guy, delete that one, put that there instead, and there we go. Okay, that's kind of crazy. In fact, that is extremely crazy, but I think we should do this. Alright, so let's go ahead and, uh, I was gonna say attach these guys together straight away, but actually, I don't know whether we should. Uh, let's do this to begin with, there we go, and then let's do something like this. 
There you go, and then we'll just send it in from there. So this guy goes all the way over to that side, and I guess that's fine? Um, but it's just a bit insane, isn't it? These things are big. I think we'll go with six instead of eight, but still, that's crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and copy these. There we go. Let's go ahead and send it to the front. Uh, and then from there, we'll be able to figure out what's going on with this. So go all the way to wherever this guy is. Try and line that up central. There we go. Awesome. Go ahead and put that there. Delete this guy. And we need to obviously attach it to this somehow. So we're going to go ahead and merge this guy with this guy. Delete all of that. And there we go. So there's our blades. That is insane. I th I'm, now that I'm looking at it from here, I think eight will be a better idea. Okay, so now I've decided to go back 20 meters from this guy. Let's go ahead and send this all the way backwards to there. We're going to go ahead and put it on the one afterwards, which is this guy, and paste that in. We're then going to do the same thing on the next one, uh, but going forwards instead. And there it is. So far, this thing is absolutely insane, uh, and hopefully it gets even more insane as we go along. So I need to actually attach this up to there, and I do need to merge it on. There we go. We then need to do the same thing with this guy, otherwise it will just fly away by itself. There we go. Merge this guy with this guy, and there we go. Nice. So each of these uh, themselves do actually need power. So in order to power these guys, I think we're going to use jet engines. And we'll have one per rotor. So we're going to have eight jet engines located, I guess, just underneath these guys. Uh, so that we can power them pretty much from themselves. Like, we don't have to actually add pipes to get to the rotors. Uh, and I think that's going to be a good idea. So let's figure that out. All right, so jet engine. Now let's go ahead and figure that out. Here we go. Jet, yes. We are going to get a normal intake, which is a small one. Go ahead and shove this guy on here. Excellent. The next thing we need is a... It's been a while. It's been a while since I've done this. Uh, but let's go ahead and go with... Oh, I can't remember. A jet compressor. Yes, because we need to compress the air. Excellent. From there, we're going to go to the combustion chamber. Excellent. From there, we need a turbine. And we actually need to use the medium one. There we go. And we don't need an exhaust. So that's good. Now, I think this looks pretty ugly, uh, the way that it currently is, so let's go ahead and lift this up and change them. Here we go, let's just cut them, send them into the sky, and we can change them to look pretty and stuff. I, uh, I decided against the idea of just putting these directly underneath the propellers, but actually, now that I'm looking at it, we could have done that, and that would have looked fine, but never mind. So, let's get ourselves some pipes. We'll go ahead and shove these guys straight into the, there like that. There we go. We're actually just going to go ahead and grab this one, and I'm actually going to do this in a different color. There we go. Just do this. And we should be able to just send this straight across from there into there, and that will power the propeller. Uh, we can put a gearbox in here if we need to, but I don't know whether we will. Um, and yeah, this is cool. Alright, so I suppose the next thing that we would need to do is actually add some way of, like, refueling these, but that's okay for right now. All I want to do is actually send this into the sky. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's get ourselves a gyro. Uh, this is probably a bad idea, but let's go for it. And um, we'll attach this onto the center somewhere. And then we'll, um, yeah, we'll try and fly it. Okay, so we need infinite fuel and we need infinite electricity. Here we go. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I didn't do a button to turn on the engines, actually. Wait, that didn't seem to be... Have I done something wrong here? I think I've made them wrong. Yeah, I, I haven't actually turned on the compressors. I haven't made them wrong. I've just not turned on the compressors. Okay, one second. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Throttle up. Here we go. Remember, I've got no gearboxes or anything like that. Uh, these guys, the collective seems to be on. The gyro isn't going to work because I haven't actually turned the gyro on. But let's see what these guys do. I think we're going to go a bit crazy when we get in the sky, but that's fine. Let's see if it actually lifts up. Here we go. So we've got eight jet engines, eight propellers. I'm trying to lift up. Okie dokie. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, this is incredible. Uh, so we should be able to, like, sort of hover and then have aircraft land on us and then we should be able to fly off. That is that is essentially what I want to do. This is insane. Uh-oh, we're falling out the sky. I don't know why that's happening. Oof! Oh, that was bad. I don't know why we fell out the sky. Our jet engines just seem to die. That's weird. That's really... What happened to you? I'm confused. Anyway, um... That worked. That actually took off. 
Okay, this time we have a gyro. Let's go ahead and just send it into the sky as quickly as we possibly can. We're gonna go up and uh, hopefully we don't just fall out the sky this time. Hopefully we don't. I mean, we might do. It might still happen. Um, but hopefully it doesn't. I don't want it to. Here we go. So press the up arrow. Yes! Ascend! Yeah! Woo! Very stable uh, at the moment with our eight propellers. I think I'll add gearboxes to those just in case we need them. And then uh, we'll be good to go. Can I go forwards with this? Yeah. Okay. I feel like my engines are spooling down. I don't know why they would do that, but yes. Uh, and essentially, we're going to get rid of the pitch on this, because we don't want pitch. Why are they spooling down? Um, <laughs> we're falling out of the sky. I'm going to die. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I'm good. Alright, so I was actually going to end that there, but I've decided that maybe we should actually add the push pull props uh, already. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and delete this guy right here, get ourselves a pipe, and we'll go ahead and shove them on here. I think... Um, that we will have enough push, uh, or enough lifting power if we just use the ones in the center uh, to have full lift from each of these jet engines uh, and then the ones at the front and the back can actually share it with uh, something else if that makes any sense whatsoever. The ones at the front and the ones at the back will also have push and pull props because I think that makes sense. And actually I think that would look really cool anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and push this all the way forwards to there I'm then going to go ahead and send it down, and I'm also going to go ahead and send this one backwards uh, to here, and I'm going to send that one down, and then we're going to have some cool looking jets, jets, propellers on there. So do one, two, send it backwards from there, bam, there we go, good. Go ahead and do the same thing right here, do, 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 delete that guy, grab this one, put it there, and then we need propellers, and that is it. Here we go, so propeller. Yes! Uh, rotor end light. Is this a, a small one? Yeah, I only want small ones, that's okay. Uh, I don't know whether they'll interact with each other and die, I'm not sure, but maybe. Uh, I'm then gonna go ahead and put one here as well. However, this one is gonna be neutral, and then we need to reverse it. And they're only gonna be... I guess they're gonna be five blades as well. Five blades, five blades. We need to do the same thing on that side, and then we need to send the same thing to the back as well. Alright, here we are, let's go ahead and test it! Press 1, yes! Throttle it up to full, yes! Okay, I think what I'm actually doing when the, uh, the engines are braking, or when the, yeah, when the jet engines stop actually doing anything, uh, I think what's happening is that, um, they're like overspeeding and then they have to slow down, and then they slow themselves all the way down, and then we die! But you know what, that's okay. Let's get ourselves in the air, okay? For some reason, we don't have any power in this engine. <laughs> or the one at the back. What's going on here? Oh no. Okay, I think it was only one of them. I, I, I actually think it was only one of them. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Go ahead and throttle up. Get ourselves into the sky and then we'll... No, why is that one not spinning? Why is that not spinning? What's going on with you? Oh, what the... What the... What has happened here? What's going on? <laughs> what is this? This is it. This is the one. They are all spinning now, okay. Uh, and, and actually, that one is in the correct place now at the back. That's fine. Uh, everything here should actually work. So let's go ahead and lift off. And then uh, we'll see if the forwards-backwards motors, uh, rotors, actually work. So here we go. Throttle up. Here we go. Lift up into the sky. Excellent. Yes. And then go ahead and send it forwards. Oh, oh my. Okay, right, we need to be a little bit more uh, balanced than this. <laughs> we need to be way more balanced than this, but it, it, it does actually work. So that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. I don't know whether it allows it to go backwards. I don't think so. So, um, yeah, we need to sort that out a little bit more, but honestly, it does kind of work. I'm happy with it. Anyway, uh, this is where I'm going to end this video for now. Thank you guys very much for watching, whatever the heck this was. And in the next one, we'll go ahead and build some more stuff onto this, and hopefully it'll work in the end. Now, I do want to say before we actually finish, I want this thing to be very simple. I don't want to go crazy overboard with this one. Uh, it is just going to be a simple creation, and hopefully it works well. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.